All right, so uh, we have studied about phylum Porifera and phylum Cylindrata in the previous video. Now, in this video, we will be taking up uh, phylum Platyhelminthes, then phylum Nemathelminthes and phylum Annelida. Okay, so open page 32 of your biology book. So, let's see phylum Platyhelminthes. What does it say? Let's see. In Greek, platys means flat. This word platy means flat, okay. And helminth means worms. This helminth, it means worms. So, the word is flat worms. That is completely flat, thin and long. You can see this picture. It's flat in shape, thin and it's long, okay. You can see this also. These are all uh, platy helminths. That is Flat worms. Remember, platy means flat and helminth means worm. So, you can see these are all flat in shape, okay, thin and it's long also. Next, page 33. They are unsegmented, that is, they have a smooth body surface. Well, here you will see some sort of a segment that is you can see it's it's uh, divided into small small parts so this is an exception but generally if you see any flat worms you will not find such segments can you see here any sort of division in this way parts in this way no you do not see right it's a completely flat in it's completely flat in shape without any uh, segment so for that purpose it is called as unsegmented and bilaterally symmetrical. What is bilaterally symmetrical? That is the body can be divided into two identical halves through only one plane. Okay. Previously, do you remember we had studied about radial symmetry in cylindrata? Radial symmetry means, suppose this is the structure. This is a structure. So, if you divide it in this way. Okay, wait just a second. Where did it go? So, let me change the ink. If you divide this one into this way, okay, then what is going to happen? This part and this part are going to be equal. Okay, this is one plane where you can divide. Suppose you feel that, okay, I want to see that whether I'm going to get equal divisions if I let me change the color which color shall I take black okay now you have divided it in one way suppose some of you may think that okay I want to check whether uh, this organism will divide in divide itself into two equal halves if I cut this organism in a different way so instead of no, now you will go it in this you'll cut this in this way okay First one you have cut it in this way completely vertical. Now you are cutting the organism horizontally. Okay. Now let me erase this part. Yeah. So after erasing what can we see that even when we have cut it uh, horizontally also we can see that this part and this part are equal. Isn't it? This part and this part are also equal and this part and this part are also equal. So, uh, it's like in whichever way you divide it, you divide it in this way or this way, the parts are going to be equal. That means we have divided the organism in two different ways or you can say we have divided the organism in more than one way. And so, we got same type, uh, same equal division and so this is called as radial symmetry. But suppose you divide this particular organism. Let me change the color of the ink. This organism that you are seeing, you divide first into horizontal. Horizontally, you are cutting the organism. So, what you find that this one and this part are equal. This part and this part are equal. Fine. We have divided. Now, some of you may say that, ma'am, I want to cut this organism now in this way. Wait. In this way. Vertically. Now, after cutting the organism vertically, what do we see is that 
see this one when we have cut this part this part this was quite long right but now when we are dividing it vertically we are getting this part so this length and this part are they same no they are not at all same isn't it so you have cut it in this way so one part in this one but if you cut it in this way then it's in this shape so are these shapes same no they are not at all same so that means we get only equal halves when we divide the plane in only one particular direction okay we do not get equal halves when we when we are divided into two or two planes okay just like this one here what did we see you cut it vertically you cut it horizontally whatever you will find same shapes in both the types of uh, division but here you do not find uh, same type of shapes when you divide when you cut it right so this type of symmetry is called as the bilateral symmetry okay bi means two lateral means lateral from the side if you cut and so symmetry means how you can uh, make the things similar okay uh, so that is the body can be divided into two equal halves through only one plane that is only through this 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 horizontally only you can divide erase all ink that is when you divide suppose these are the two eyes you can see so divide in this way in between the eyes of this one and this one only you can divide next a few of them are found in fresh water while most of them are animal parasites that is the leave inside hosts okay some of them will be found in fresh water and some of them are parasites that is this parasite means what you know this this organism they cannot prepare their own food so they are going to be present in some other living organism and whatever suppose they suppose let me take my example now i i take food okay i eat food daily i drink water daily so my body gets all sorts of nutrition but this 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 uh, you can say platyhelminthes this flatworms what do they do they will stay stuck inside my body and whatever food i am intaking they will also take up that nutrition as a result what is going to happen i will start get get uh, i will start to get weak because the nutrition that i was taking that is not helping uh, my body to develop energy because all those nutrition are taken up by these worms inside my body where will i get then energy from i am not getting any energy these are acting as parasite they are living on me i am the host okay i am the host and they are living on me so they are acting as a parasite and taking away all the nutrition from my body and thus i will become sick okay so that is their work is in this way their mouth is the only opening on the body through which they take in food and excrete wastes okay let me erase all ink and show you so this is from here you will get the mouth so this through this mouth only they take in food and give out all the waste excrete wastes like for us we humans we take in food through one passage and we excrete all the wastes from another passage right not from the same passage but in terms of your flatworms what happens is that they have only one mouth through this one mouth they are going to eat and from this one mouth only they are going to excrete the wastes okay hook like structures called suckers surround their mouth so uh, you can see this sort of uh, structure it's like a hook so this hook like structures are present right in front of their mouth so then they can very easily stay uh, clinging to your internal parts of the body and take in all the nutrition okay now what are the examples see i'll show you this erase all ink and examples are planaria this picture is of planaria okay next picture is of tapeworm okay and the next picture is of blood fluke 
okay this one so these are all tapeworms platy uh, sorry these are all flatworms okay platyhelminthes next we go to phylum nemathelminthes or nematoda if you cannot remember nemathelminthes if it becomes very hard for you you can also write nematoda no problem you will get the full marks now these are basically also called as the round worms okay let's see in greek nema means thread and helminth means worm okay nematelminthes uh, let's ignore that because uh, no need to remember this one tough word you remember as nematoda round worms are both free living as well as parasitic that means what these round worms are parasitic parasitic i told you that means they will live in the internal organs of the body and will take all the nutrition you can see they sort of round okay they're taking the shape of round and thread like structure is there okay see this one round it's making a round shape and thread type okay they can be both free living they can move here and there and also they will be acting just as a parasite they are found commonly in animal intestine we have the intestine in our body right this is the this one face and then this is the intestine this large intestine here we have the small intestine okay so these uh, round worms are basically present in the intestines the body of round worm is long unsegmented cylindrical and bilaterally symmetrical okay let me erase all ink and let's go to the picture see what is saying the body of round worm is long okay we can see that it's long uh unsegmented unsegmented means we do not see any sort of like this division we do not see okay we do not see all this sort of a division no segments okay cylindrical that is it's cylindrical in shape that is in this way cylindrical in shape okay we can see that it's cylindrical in shape cylindrical in shape fine and bilaterally symmetrical that means what this one can you see this picture we can divide it vertically we can divide this organism in just only one plane and then we will get uh, divisions this one will become one division and this lower part will become another division bilaterally symmetrical you can cut it into in this way make this a uh, worm uh, in a straight line and then cut it then upper part and lower part bilaterally symmetrical now they have two openings in the body a mouth and an anus previously in flat worms there was only mouth but round worms they have both mouth and anus okay they have both mouth through which they will take in food and anus through which they will excrete fine uh, examples yes now comes the example let me erase all ink this is the example this is ascaris Round worm. This is thread worm. Okay, and this is hook worm. Why is it hook worm? Because you can see this one. This one sort of a hook like shape is here. Okay, so this is hook worm. Fine. Next we go to phylum Annelida. Okay, phylum Annelida. Let me change the ink color. In Greek, annulus means little ring and eidos means form. Okay, okay. So, this is annulus means ring, little ring. Okay, and eidos means form. So, these organisms are in the form of little, 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 little small little rings. Okay, let's see. These organisms are found in moist soil and water. Moist soil and water means, moist soil means the soil which is wet, which is wet, okay. Those are moist soil. Soil is wet, so these are moist soil and also in water, water, you know H2O is water, okay. They have ring-like segments on the body surface. Now, can you see this, 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 this one, this ring-like, ring, ring, ring. Here also you can see so many rings are here. Here also you can see very small, very closely attached rings. This one rings are here. Rings are here. 
rings, 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 rings. Yes. So phylum Annelida, they have rings on their body surface. They have a body cavity and a digestive system with two openings, mouth and anus. Body cavity means that means their uh, hole is there. It's like a cavity is there. Okay. And what else? Uh, what it is, uh, it's like a body and a digestive system. Okay, so they will have digestive system. Previously, in all the previous phylum, we have not at all heard that they have a digestive system. But in Annelida, we are hearing that they have a digestive system and also one mouth is here and one anus is here. Okay, mouth is to feed and anus is to excrete. Okay, so phylum, they have digestive system system which we have not heard in the other phylum they have a special excretory organs known as nephridia so they have anus is there for excretion but there is a particular like uh, you can say we have kidney kidney helps in filtration okay ha helps to excrete the harmful materials in our body like kidney okay Similarly, what happens here in the phylum Annelida, they also have a special excretory organ which is called the nephridia. Nephridia is there inside the body of the phylum Annelida. Now, uh, let's see the examples. Okay, examples include earthworm. We know earthworm very well. Leech, this is earthworm. Leech. Leeches, you will find those who have pets, you may uh, see leeches on their body. My pet, they always have leeches whenever he goes out for a walk and then brings in the leeches and then we have to kill them, kill them with salt. Okay, next, these are the tube worm and this is a rag worm. Okay, fine. Earthworms feed on dead and decaying substances in the soil. So, this is the earthworm and so they will keep on moving, crawling on the surface of the soil and whatever they will find some dead and decaying matter like dead and decayed leaves and all the small, small animals and everything. So, they will eat them. A leech is known as an external parasite as it sucks the blood of the animals. Okay, leech is known as external parasite parasite why is it known as external parasite because see all other parasites they are present internally inside our body we cannot see but leech is such an organism which is present on the outer side of the body and from the outer surface of the body itself they keep on sucking the blood for its own nutrition can you see this leech this particular leech has already sucked in lot and lots of amount of blood and it is it has got swollen at the end okay more uh, the more uh, number of time suppose for more time this uh, leech is now uh, uh, if if the leech is present on the skin of this person then slowly it will become more swollen because then leech is taking taking in all the blood from this organism so we have to kill this leech okay so so that is what is all external parasite that is parasite means they they, they never do their own work Okay, they are always there, never do their own work, not doing, uh oh, why is my pen not working, anyway, uh, just listen, that uh, they are never going to do their own work, but they will uh, always um, wait for the other person to do the work and then they will go there and take all the credits, okay, take all the nutrition from that person, so that's why they are called as the parasite, okay. So, well, I think I have covered up uh, this uh, phylum. Related to page number 34, we have phylum Arthropoda. This one we will be discussing in our live class. All right. So, please uh, watch all this video so that um, you can understand what is being taught to you in the live classes. All right then. Thank you and have a happy learning. Bye.